Hi, I thought I'd show you why I'm going to be voting for Dr. Benjamin Carson. Here goes. Eating our lunch, and nobody can do that like I can do it. Let's talk about free speech, because after that Pam Geller event down in Garland, Texas, where they were attacked and the two would-be jihadis were shot dead by the police force, you also sent out some tweets um, saying, why taunt in order to provoke possible death? Dumb. I think that Pam moment. Geller is a terrible messenger. I think she's terrible. And what she's doing, we have enough problem without taunting and driving everybody crazy. But my question to you is, because this turned into a bigger thing, like what do we stand for as Americans, if not for freedom of speech and the ability to express yourself, and this speech in particular, which was in defiance, it's, it's like the cartoon that won the contest. It had Muhammad standing there saying, you can't draw me, and the person looking up to him saying, that's why I draw you. It was about okay. people trying to shut down an American ideal, and this group, however unsympathetic they may have been, saying, we reject that attempt. They were totally unsympathetic. Now, you look at Mohammed and you look at some of the positions they have Mohammed, and some people are going to get extremely upset about it. Now, I'm not the only one, and I'm not the only conservative Republican that feels this way, and they're lucky even to be alive. But why, with all the problems we have, why taunt? What do you well, mean what we're seeing now? What do you mean that, you know, the, the White House is saying, the, the administration is saying, we're taking care of ISIS, that this is just a oh, setback in Ramadi, and that the overall strategy is a success? It's a total disaster. We're losing it so badly. That well, he's right about Ramadi and how we're blowing it there, thanks to a blamer. But Pamela Geller is not a troublemaker. <laughs> you know, she's a troublemaker like Winston Churchill was a troublemaker. You know, she ripped off the curtains and exposed what's coming at us, which is encroaching Sharia law, which eventually. Uh, you won't even be able to. Uh, I mean, if, if not only you will not be able to draw a picture of Muhammad, you won't be able to. Uh, uh, well, let's put it this way: you'll have to have your patootie in there, or you'll be paying jizzy tax to keep from being killed. So, because of what he said here, I'm voting for Ben Carson, Doctor Benjamin Carson. Bye.